practice here for the spring. Is, can't believe it's gone by so quick, huh? Well, it's been obviously a little unique in that, you know, by breaking it up into really two spring segments or two spring ball sets. Um, it has gone by relatively quickly, you know, getting the getting the six practices in prior to prior to finals and spring break. Um, you know, the, the, those two weeks with six practices and then coming back and now um, finishing up our seventh practice of the second set um, has been good. It's been really refreshing on that aspect of it. I think that our energy has been very good. Uh, as I said before, I think sometimes spring ball can get a little bit monotonous when it's just the, the daily grind of going against one another. But I thought our spirits have been good um, you know, on both sides of the ball. And, and you know, I, I know we get two more to go here, one Thursday and then obviously Saturday at Memorial Stadium. So just want to maximize those opportunities that we get. Have you figured out yeah. how you want to set up Saturday? And what yeah, you're gonna do? you know we're, we're a little we're a little bit nicked up. So what we'll do is um, we'll, we're going to have a practice with scrimmage segments broken out in between. So we'll have four scrimmage segments broken out in a practice um, format. Um, that being said, there should be some fun stuff that takes place. Some different competitions we'll do. Um, whether they're throwing competitions, kicking competitions, um, you know, really trying to trying to get the fans involved with some fan play calls and different things. So we're we're trying to make it beneficial for us so that we maximize our time on the field, but also make it entertaining for our fans and so that they feel good about uh, our Husky football team for 2013. You're gonna have full pads and full hitting and yeah. and all yes. that stuff. Yeah, yeah, we'll have all that and we'll have you know uniforms and all that stuff on. Quarterbacks being purple or yellow. Well, we'll be, we'll, we'll, they'll be in their game uniforms. They won't be live next Saturday. They'll, it'll be traditional practice format that way. So will there be a score kept of any sort? No, no. We're going to do situational work, uh, be stuff, you know, red zone, two-minute, backed-up situations, uh, overtime, things like that. Coach, we saw Cleveland Wallace out there a yeah. little bit with the uh, – defense today. Is there anything you can talk to about that? I've been really impressed with Cleveland. You know, he's been a guy that we had uh, we had high hopes for coming out of last fall. He's a kid who redshirted for us. He's really talented. He's got a very high football IQ, a good feel for the game. Um, but also, um, he's an excellent return man. And uh, I think now that after redshirting, a lot like Travell Dixon, sometimes when you redshirt and you're on the scout team all year, um, it takes a minute when you get into spring ball, then you have to have the discipline to use our calls, our techniques, our fundamentals. And I think that he uh, he's really improved. And uh, he looked good today, made some plays on the ball, broke up some passes. So um, uh, another good young defensive back for us that not only this year, but for our future, looks really good. It seems like the offensive line is pretty much the, the starting guys have been kind of the same five from, from now till uh, you know, from the start of spring to now. I, I, I guess was that a... Anticipate that would kind of go that way. Well, we didn't know. You know, we were we were seeing if anybody could you know could bump anybody out of there. I think if we were to play a game, we probably would play seven to eight offensive linemen. Quite honestly, especially when we get uh, Tanagawa back. So um, you know, we're going to see some different guys play it with the tempo that we're playing at. I think to realistically think you're only going to play five old linemen for that many number of snaps isn't realistic. So. Um, you know, I, I think, you know, Eric Kohler's coming along. I think when we get Tanagawa back, I think, you know, Shane Brosick's got an, an ankle thing that's hobbled him some. But those those guys will, will give us some opportunity to step in and play and, and do some good stuff for us. So um, I feel good about those, what those five guys have done. Um, but when they get fatigued, they struggle some. So we have to be ready and willing early on in practice, or excuse me, early on in games to to – sub those guys just as if we would uh, in a practice so that they don't get too fatigued for late in the ball game. So yeah, that's a real contrast So I guess the last spring when it seemed like guys yeah. were just kind of coming in and out the whole time. Is that something that could really benefit well, you guys, you hope, going forward? Even in the last fall camp, you know, yeah. I mean, as the guys were getting injured in fall camp last year, it felt like a new face or a new number in there at right guard, then left guard, then right tackle. So um, to have some consistency for those guys from a communication standpoint is good. Um, and, and I think that it shows in their play, you know. I don't know if today was necessarily their best day, um, but they've done some nice things for us. What have you liked at center from Chris, and what does he still need to get better with? Well, he's a really strong guy. He's strong on the lower half um, in that uh, he can anchor, and he's going against a great nose tackle in Danny Shelton right now. Um, he's a very bright young man, so he can make the calls and communicate. And he's athletic enough to do some of the things that, that we ask our centers to do. You know, we pull him at times. We ask him to get to the second level. 
Um, like I said, this spring he's been forced to have a 340 pound nose tackle on his nose all, all camp long, but we're gonna play plenty of teams that play more of an even front, which nobody will be on him and he's gonna be asked to get up on the second level, so you need that athleticism, so um, that's been good. I think that what's taxing at the center position in this offense as well is conditioning and then the ability to snap accurately consecutively and consistently over time and he, he's primarily done that he's had he's had a couple here or there but for the most part he's been good is, is Kohler settling in at any one spot at all or um, I, I'm moving him around some right now to be somewhat of a utility guy when we get back to fall camp we'll settle him in more but we're gonna need we really need a backup tackle which he can provide that we're gonna need a backup guard he can provide that and he can provide being a backup center now, when we come back to fall camp and he's fully healthy and he's in great shape, then we'll let the competition, you know, really wage on for, for who's going to be one of those starting five guys. Eric Wilson seemed to be hobble or? Yeah, just a little nicked up, nothing serious. Um, you know, I think that we've been rotating some of these backs. His backs have gotten a lot of carries this spring, whether Dwayne's had a, had a day or two off, Bishop's had a couple days off. Uh, just felt fitting to, to get Eric a, a light day.